Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Davidson Hang Podcast. Um, my reflections, and uh, it is December, so I wanted to reflect on the year and some of the books I've read and the impact that it's had on me. Uh, I, I'll post a link to all the books as well, so you can check it out. And yeah, reach out if you ever have any questions about any of these. But yeah, let's get right into it. So these are the books that I would recommend. It was really hard to do it in order, so it might not be this exact order that in that I enjoyed the book, but I'll definitely uh, elaborate on some of these in more detail for you. So uh, the first one is the Almanac of Navrav Ravakant. He is the founder of Angelus and a really intelligent, influential guy. Uh, definitely has a way of thinking about things. He He's a master of pattern recognition and uh, just overall like a really powerful guy um, and uh, really intelligent guy. Probably one of the smartest guys you'll, you'll ever read about. Um, so that's number one. Number two, uh, I can see clearly now by Wayne W. Dyer. He's sort of like the father of law of attraction, and visualization, uh, very successful. He was a professor and I really enjoy his his style of reading because he talks about trusting your own intuition and the magical things that happen from that. Uh, the Magic of Thinking Big by David J. Schwartz. This is a really good book for mindset and just being able to, to think bigger and have bigger goals and accomplish everything that you want. So it is a bit woo woo, but you know, those are the uh, those are my favorite types of books because it really does help me have a better mindset. Number four, Spirit Run, a six thousand mile marathon through North America, stolen land. This is really interesting. It was about a guy who he was. Yeah, he he did a, a run. He so he basically ran like all the way, like all of. Canada and and uh, all the way down to you know it was thousands of miles which is crazy but it really talked about his resilience and this is a true story too um, kind of crazy and a really good book if you're into like the human condition and just being committed to something uh, it's a really inspiring book and Number five, what it takes lessons in the pursuit of excellence. Uh, this guy is a uh, this Stephen Schwartzman. He's the CEO of a really large financial services firm, um, and really talks about how he became a billionaire and how he has so much influence over the world. And um, really inspiring book if you're into business and and self development. The Impossible First: From Fire to Ice, Crossing the Antarctic. Antarctica Alone by Colin O'Brady. This book is is a pretty interesting book. I really like books where they they complete they they're just accomplishing amazing feats. Um, so really inspiring guy. I really like his attitude and the ability that he had to just break records. Uh, number seven, time travel with Frederick Dobson. So. This book is is interesting. Um, he's a really interesting guy. He talks a lot about different energy levels and just concepts that I've have never really thought about until reading his book. But uh, highly recommended if you're into something a little bit more psychological, philosophical. The happy the happiness equation: want nothing, do anything, plus do anything equals have everything. Uh, this guy came to LinkedIn to speak. Really intelligent guy. It was recommended to me by my friend Adrian Reyes. So thanks for that recommendation. Number nine, Notes from a Friend. A quick and simple guide to taking control of your life by Tony Robbins. So this book is one of his earlier books. Uh, to, I mean, anything by Tony Robbins is really good in terms of mindset and his conferences have made a big difference in my life. So that's why I got into Tony Robbins because uh, I really, since I started reading his books has drastically changed my life for the better. Um, number 10, my philosophy for a successful living by Jim Rohn. 
Uh, this is a great book for, it's a simple book. You can read this in like a day. It's not too hard. Um, he was Tony Robbins' mentor. So he was popular. He made self-development and business development um, and uh, business success. Um, and he's, so he's a leadership coach. Number 11, Polishing the Mirror, How to Live Your Spiritual Heart. Uh, this is a Ram Dass book, um, really into spirituality. Uh, interesting dude. Definitely really like it if, if you're into like gratitude and treating the world better and just how to just live a, a less stressful and peaceful and how to live a, a peaceful life. Number 12, Zero Regrets. Be greater than yesterday, uh, uh, Apollo Ono. So, for those of you who don't know, he has eight Olympic medals in the Winter Olympics in skating. So, uh, speed sca skating. So, a really book good book for work ethic. If you want to just get stuff done and just destroy, like if you want to work on mindset, that's the book. Think Like a Monk, Train Your Mind for Peace and Purpose Every Day by Jay Shetty. Uh, he also came to LinkedIn. I uh, enjoyed his book. I actually found out about his book because he was on every podcast. I was, to, I was listening to all the different interviews and got so much value out of it. So I was like, all right, it's probably worth to buy this book. Number 14, Conversations with God, book three, Embracing the Love of the Universe by Neil Donald Walsh. This guy... Neil is a fascinating guy, <laughs> um, very controversial, but the the universal message of love and spirituality is is awesome. So if you're in, if you want to increase your spiritual connectedness to the world, check out that book. Number fifteen, ADHD and the Edison gene: a drug-free approach to managing the unique qualities of your child. Thom Hartman. This book was interesting because I was someone who, who's diagnosed with ADHD and it talks about how people with ADHD gene are the, the most brilliant people in the world because we're the ones that are visionaries and we're the ones that are able to create innovation. So instead of looking to it as something that's not good, this book will help you realize that it's an amazing quality and it's an amazing trait. Number 16. Built, Not Born, A Self-Made Billionaire's No-Nonsense no Guide for Entrepreneurs by Tom Galasano and Mike Wicks. So he, this guy's the founder of Paychex. Really, if you want to be an entrepreneur and if you're in business, definitely recommend this book. Number 17, The Blue Zones, Second Edition, Nine Lessons for Living Longer from the People Who Lived the Longest, Dan Buettner. So this guy, uh, what he did was he studied a lot of the, the most, the happiest and the longest living people that have lived past 100 years old, the places that had the highest ratio. And so there's a, so Japan and Okinawa, there's a, there's a group in California, it's like the Loma Linda or something like that. Um, and uh, Greece, there's an island in Greece. Um but yeah, essentially all the ones that what they all have in common is that the old people are part of the community. So they, they have a purpose, they exercise and they eat pretty healthy, um, a high vegetarian and with fish oils and, and fish uh, diet. So number 18, the, the TB12 method, how to achieve a lifetime of sustained peak performance. So this is by Tom Brady. Um, really good, interesting book talks a lot about it changed my thinking about training and, and to focus more on flexibility, he calls it pliability, instead of just doing only strength training. I think a lot of guys have run into this issue. So check out the book if you're into fitness and wellness. Number 19, North finding my way while running the Appalachian Trail by Scott Jarek. Man, this guy is, he's incredible. He, he, he broke the record for running the Appalachian Trail in like a month, which is crazy. So thousands of miles. So picture having to run like 50 miles every day for 
a year straight it's just insane up mountains too like not even easy running like literally up mountains just crazy stuff man number 20 a curious mind the got the secret to a bigger life by brian glazer and charles fishman so yeah so those are the books that i would recommend to start i don't want to overwhelm you all with all the other books uh i'll do another pod i'll do another episode about all the other books but uh yeah hope you enjoyed my recommendations my top 20 recommendations and to yeah subscribe to the podcast if you found this to be helpful and feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions cheers